Alrighty y'all, so today I'm going to be doing another video on cooking something in our new Ninja Air Fryer. And today we are going to be attempting to cook a whole little 12, I think it's 11 pound turkey, 12 or 11 pound turkey. It's just a small, I mean it's practically a big chicken, but this is all dethawed and supposedly we could cook it in here in under two hours. If so, it's going to be a game changer. We got this turkey all prepped up. We got it with some onion and some garlic and a little bit of salt, pepper. Shoved a little clump of butter underneath the skin. I got some butter ready and we got this preheating. I wanted to give y'all a little tip. I got this little oil sprayer a long time ago from Brookshire's. It's one of those pump ones. When we used to use oil a lot, I would use it. But what I found is you can use this with butter too. If you melt the butter on the stove and then keep it on the stove that you're working on, like. Keep it on a stove, a solid metal. Keep it on a stove, or this is really nice when I'm out on the smoker, smoking stuff, because then you can actually have some butter that you could spray on there and keep it nice and moist while you're cooking it, which really helps. Especially, we haven't done anything to this turkey except season it. We haven't marinated it or done anything, so I'm really gonna be curious to see what happens. So, we got this preheated. If you go into the whole roast setting and then do the manual smart cook with the temperature probe there's actually a chicken setting if you can't figure it out just go to 165 degrees that's what we want to cook this turkey to and we want to put it in the thickest part of the turkey breast so we're going to bring it on over here and you're usually you want to put it right in there because that is about the thickest part okay that perfectly fits in there and what we're going to do is we're going to close this up and then i'm actually going to put it on level two that way it cooks it both ways. And then now all we have to do, as you can see, it's just above freezing on the inside of that turkey. It was still pretty cold. And we're gonna see how long it takes. What this does is this is target cooking. So there's not actually a time. It will just go until the turkey reaches uh, what they call doneness, which is your target temperature. So we'll meet y'all back then and tell you what time it is. Alrighty y'all, so it's been about an hour and 15 minutes and it got up to the temperature and turned off and then uh, we actually set it on air fry for about another 15 minutes just to really crisp up the skin. We also added butter a couple more times just to keep it moist since this hasn't been marinated. And now we are going to open it up and check it out. It's been resting for about like 15 minutes. As you can see it's nice and crispy. So what we're going to do is carefully without burning myself, pull out this. All right. Okay, so what we're gonna start by cutting off, oh wow, it's really juicy, whoa. Okay, good. What we're gonna start is by cutting off the legs. You can see just the juices. Right now, but it's extremely juicy. That's the one part I was afraid of is, you know, turkey can easily go dry and it stayed incredibly juicy, which is amazing. So we're going to plate some of this up with some roasted we have here. We always like to mix it up if we're having chicken or turkey. We like to um, add a beef or a red meat just to balance it out. So we got some roast and we got some turkey. Cut it up, serve it up, and try it. Okay. Got that all cut up. Let's just put a couple pieces on a plate and serve it up there. There. See, it's super juicy, which is really impressive for how fast it cooked. I mean, you all saw in the starting of this video, I just wanted to mention, it was at 33 degrees. That's one degree above freezing. It still had some ice inside of it, and an hour and 15 minutes, and it's done. All right, let's try it. And no brine. No brine. No brine. No seasonings other than onion, garlic, salt, pepper, and butter. I was very skeptical. Very. It's so good. I mean, it's not a smoked turkey. It's just a normal turkey, but it is really good. I mean, juicy, plenty of flavor. You put some butter and some salt on that, couldn't be happier. It's amazing. Also, if you had any kind of legit good turkey seasoning, like a lemon pepper or... A buttery herb rub that would take it to a whole nother level but I wanted to let y'all know that I put half a stick of butter underneath the skin I just separated it with my hands 
got it up underneath there, and then I sprayed it about twice with the butter spray, and then we put some more butter on it right when we crisped it up. It turned out good, and the best part about this turkey is the skin. It's amazing. It's so good. I can like just eat the skin and leave, leave all the meat for the little kids and just eat the skin. So amazing. Alrighty. If you like this video, if you like these recipes, if you want to see more of these recipes, comment down below, leave a like, subscribe, and we'll see y'all on the next video.